Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Hey there, I'm going to take you along today for a quick IKEA Pax wardrobe tour. I'm just going to give you a quick tour of our IKEA Pax wardrobe, how it looks like, how we customize it inside, how to plan yours and use the IKEA planner online, um, and just a few tips and tricks of um, what we've learned because this is not our first IKEA Pax wardrobe. If you are new around here, we actually also had another one, um, a slightly different one in the flat that we used to live before we moved to the UK. So the difference between the two, the one that we have here is a three door one and it's got normal doors. So the ones that obviously open like a normal door. And then the ones that we used to have in our flat were sliding doors. So I think it's kind of the main difference. And then obviously the sizing because um, it's just kind of slightly different space um, here than it used to be in our previous flat. But yeah, that's kind of the main difference. And then I'm going to show you kind of how we structured it inside and a few tips that I have and kind of what we've learned from our previous Pax wardrobe as compared to this one. And I'm also going to share with you how much it costs and just everything like that. So let's go ahead and get started with the tour. Okay, so this is the IKEA Pax wardrobe that we have in here. So as you can see, it's a three door one um, and it's got normal doors, as I mentioned. So they're, they're not sliding doors, just regular ones. Um, and you can get as, as tall as you need to. So they have this size and then they also have a taller size. Now it kind of depends on the um, size of your room. I think it was when we did the measurements, it was quite at the limit. So we figured we'll just get the smaller one and put some baskets up there. But obviously you can measure your room and see if a taller one fits because that would obviously be nice as well just to kind of have that extra storage on the top. So what we're planning to do instead, um, I just brought these baskets from downstairs from um, my son's um, toy storage. These are also from Ikea, by the way. So I just put them up there to see what they would look like. So on the Ikea website, I think they have these white ones and they also have some that look like this color, like a more natural beigey one. So let me know what you guys think. Should I go for the white ones or should I go for um, the kind of cream natural colored ones? I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I'm going to have to take those back downstairs, but I just put them up to see what they would look like. We did get the mirrored wardrobe, as you can obviously tell. The reason why we like mirrored wardrobes is because it makes the space look a lot brighter and it also kind of makes the room look bigger. Now we are in a rental house, but when we do move to our own house one day when we buy, um, I think I would do a few things different. Like, like for example, um, I would put on the sides, I think you can get a carpenter or you can maybe just do it yourself. Just kind of use some wood or um, some sort of material to put on the sides here and maybe on the top so that it kind of looks like a built-in wardrobe obviously at the fraction of the cost so you could definitely do that especially in a space like this like on the side here and on the side there so i think that would be a good idea to do and our previous wardrobe the one with sliding doors was um, slightly larger so it was a bit bigger because the space was also a bit bigger in that corner um, of our bedroom but um, yeah I really like both so let me just show you inside now so you can see what it looks like okay so these are two doors open um, but yeah this is um, how I've kind of organized it and you can choose on the IKEA planner I really love it because you can actually customize everything that's in here like you can choose drawers you can choose more shelves um, more rails if you need to so it really depends on your needs um, obviously so in our previous packs wardrobe, we actually did on the bottom just shelves like this, which um, I actually realized I much prefer the um, drawers, these ones. So these are actually just wire drawers and they are so handy. They're really sturdy. Actually, I expected them to be more flimsy, but they're not. They're really sturdy. And I just find it so much easier to organize and keep your clothes organized in these drawers rather than on these shelves. So I think next time we'll actually go get more um, drawers like this rather than more shelves. Um, in our previous packs wardrobe, we only had shelves, which was not ideal. It was not as practical as um, the drawers here. Um, so I would definitely recommend getting some of these instead of just shelves. Although saying that, the shelves are um, a lot less expensive. So if you're looking to go really budget friendly, then just getting shelves um, would be really great as well. And what you could do is maybe just get shelves and put some like really inexpensive baskets yourself in there. Um, but yeah, this is what we have gone for. So to give you a closer look, we have two um, rails up here. And then on the bottom, I just did a higher shelf here just because here I just want to put things that are not super long and then a lower one here so that I could fit dresses like longer dresses or jumpsuits or anything like that 
um, so that's what um, so that's kind of what I had in mind and then for the shelves on here I just put some accessories and then I've got my um, clothes steamer there it's really handy to have that shelf just to keep kind of keep some accessories on hand and then as i said here we have a few shelves um and then here i've got these baskets which i really love so, so as you can probably tell they are wired ones but they're really nice and sturdy like they're not flimsy at all um and i just love these i feel like they are so handy they're really good to organize in kind of the marie kondo style like where you put all the clothes um upwards i just find it so much easier to see where everything is and it's easier to kind of pull something out from the middle rather than pulling something from here for example that's why i think these uh, drawers are much better for organizing rather than just shelves but obviously it's totally up to you um, i've got trousers here so the way i kind of organize it i've got tops trousers socks and um, pajamas at the bottom so so yeah that's what we've got in here and then i'll go ahead and show you my husband's side as well and then this is my husband's side, which is very similar. So he's got one rail at the top and then he's got um, one shelf there and then all the little drawers as well. Okay, so let's see the IKEA Pax Planner and how to use it. So I will leave a link down um, in the description box on how you can access the planner um, it, or you can find it on their website as well. If you just type in Pax Wardrobe, you should be able to find the planner. Now here you just um, you will just see an empty room where you can um, go ahead and create your wardrobe, which is really cool. Now, um, I think some people have mentioned they had problems with the planner. I am on a Google Chrome and it worked fine for me. So I'm just going to show you how I designed ours and then it will give us the price at the end as well because the price does depend on um you know obviously the things that or how many things you put in the wardrobe now um for depth i think i went with 58 centimeters so you can make it more narrow if um that's what you need for your space i will leave 58 centimeters and this is for the frame so this is the first thing that you're going to design this is the frame and then for height um i will you can put it at the highest so 236 our one is 201 centimeters because that's what the space allowed here but you can obviously do it higher um if you need to here you're going to choose the color for the frame so i went with a white one and then you're going to scroll down and here you can see all the different frames for these um for these sizes that you chose up here so obviously you can choose how wide you want it to be here. Now um, we chose to have three 50 centimeter ones because those were the ones that fit perfectly in that spot there. But for our previous wardrobe, we had two of the 100 centimeter ones. Um, so obviously it depends on your space. But yeah, for this space, we chose three of these. So I'm just going to drag one of those. I'm going to drag one on this side and then one on this side. So that's kind of our frame. This is how I started with the, this frame. So that's my frame for our wardrobe. Next, you have the doors. So this is just to select the type of doors that you want to see down here. So I have selected the types of just regular doors. And then you can go down here. I don't like to select the color here because um, if you don't, then you will be able to see more um, options here. So let's go and scroll through the options. So they've got wooden ones, they've got uh, white, gray they've got the glossy type ones so it really depends on your style and your preference i really like either white for my um wardrobes just because i feel like it fits really well with my um style and our decor preferences or uh, as i said again i really like mirrored ones as well just because they um, make the space bigger and brighter um but look this one the white one is really cute as well so let's see if I can find the one that we have. So they have this mirrored one with a frame, but I like the one that doesn't have a frame. So it's this one. So I am going to drag this on top and then this and then this. And then when the doors come, you can put the hinges either on this side or on this side. So it really is up to you. And you can also put the handle on um, whatever side you prefer. We actually only put the handle on one door because that was just the only one that was not easily accessible, but the other ones you can open easily without um, the handle. Um, but yeah, that's just our preference. So now we've got the three mirrored doors all set up. That's what they look like. And then let's see our next option is handles. So you can choose the type of handle, the color, 
um, or you can go down here and scroll through all of the options. They have some really cute ones. I think the one that we have is this one, I believe, which is the one that I think it comes with. Okay, so we've got the handles and then moving on to interiors. So when you click on interiors, the doors will disappear. Now, don't worry, they only disappear to help you figure out what to put inside. It doesn't mean um, they're gone, like they're still in your basket. So now you can either choose the type or you can just scroll down and see everything down here. So I'm going to try to recreate what we have in our uh, wardrobes. So I'm just going to put the rails in. So you just pop them in and then if you want to, you can click on them and put them higher or lower. So I'm just going to put them the highest that I can or almost the highest that I can put them. There we go. And then um, you can also choose the color of the rail too if you want a metal one. I just prefer the white one. Next, I'm going to scroll and see where the um, drawers are, the ones that we have. So they have so many different things like for accessories, just really depends on how much you want to accessorize them. Obviously, the more interiors you put in there, the higher the price will be. Um, but the ones that we have are these ones. Oh, they call it a basket, not a drawer, because the drawers up here are a bit more expensive. But yeah, we got the mesh rail and I really like it because you can also see what's inside. So I'm just going to put three. So there's one here and then you can select the mesh basket and move it higher or lower. And then I'm going to put the third one there and then on the same on my husband's side. And then another thing that we put in is just some simple shelves like this. So I just got the white one. So I put one up here and then I have put one here. And then I think for these ones, for these ones, I had two. So let me think, do I have anything else inside? I think that's it. Okay, so that's what it looks like inside. And then um, I've got accessories. So if you want to get any accessories for inside or if you want to get lights that you can put on top like this, I think these are pretty cool as well. Um, I might actually get some of these at some point, but um, yeah, that's all that I put inside. And then that's my wardrobe done. And then um, over here on the left, if you want to see the doors again, you can um, select this button. There you go. And then if you want them to go away so that you can just see what's inside, you just click on that again. So that's my IKEA Pax wardrobe all finalized. And the total price, as you can probably see, is 365 for this wardrobe with the accessories, so everything that's included. So that's how much we paid for our Pax wardrobe. Now, if you're trying to do the, all the planning and you get a bit overwhelmed or you're not sure about the measurements, you can always go in store in IKEA and get help from their assistants because they do have um, planner assistance for I think pretty much all of their furniture like the ones that have planners so you can get help on the planners online um, but yeah I hope this helped you I hope it was helpful to kind of see what it looks like and also how to plan it yourself to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe for more IKEA videos because I do love IKEA quite a bit if you if you haven't noticed already yeah hope you're having a good day and I will see you in my next video bye guys